I'm Carol from designerstencils.com and it's Thanksgiving morning and I'm getting ready to make an apple pie for our feast tonight. I thought I would videotape what I'm going to do to the top of the crust. I'm going to be using some powdered colors and a leaf stencil to create a fall foliage effect. Here's the stencil I want to use. It has a variety of cut out leaves on here. I put it on my pie crust, but before I start using my powdered colors, I want to take some Crisco and just lightly rub it on the top of the stencil. This is going to do two things. It's going to help keep the excess powder from falling through the openings when I lift it. Plus the fat content in it is going to help uh, solidify the color into my crust. Now I'm going to take my powdered colors. I'm using the colors from uh, Crystal's Colors. And this is a dark green holly. Just dab a little bit of your brush in there. And then go to your stencil and start working it in. I'm just going to brush this color different spots that I want to. Now I'm going to take a red. Brush that in the middle of the leaf. And then I can go around the rest of the stencil and do a little bit of red here, a little bit of green. Then I can introduce some other colors. Let's try a little orange. And don't worry about going over where you already have with the color because the colors will blend. And you can use some of the darker colors for a shading effect. another video that I've done where I show you how you can just do the same effect with a stencil on top of pie crust, but all you have to do is rub with your hand some cinnamon sugar over the pattern. That's really fun, especially if you want to get um, little kids involved in that one. They just love spreading the sugar over the stencil. See how I'm using this darker color? green around the edge. It's blending and making it making it pop. You can even grab excess color that's just on the stencil and move it around. Now I have all the color and I'm actually just going to use the outside of the stencil as my template to cut away the excess pastry dough. Okay, here's my filled apple pie. And my stencil is still on the pastry dough, so I'm just going to gently lift it up. And there's my pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, put it on 
top, flute my edges. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to put it in the oven and as it cooks the color is going to deepen and uh, create a beautiful foliage effect on my pie top.